Hello friends, welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss about on a new topic that is calculation and drawing of omrothermic chart. Omrothermic chart is a technique. They allow to establish the relationship between temperature and precipitation. And to determine the length of dry, wet and extremely wet periods. And also which periods that are favorable for plant growth. This technique was postulated by Embarger in 1963. This method plots mean monthly temperature in degree Celsius and rainfall in millimeter on the same axis but with the scale of the precipitation data at twice that of temperature data. The temperature and precipitation data plotted against on axis X of time. This is the average temperature and precipitation data at least 30 years. On the basis of this mean temperature and precipitation data, we draw omrothermic chart. At first, on graph paper, or on normal white paper, draw a x axis. Here we draw a 12 cm line for 12 month and marking the midpoint of each centimeter and of the month starting with the coldest month. Remember to start in January if you are plotting data collected in the northern hemisphere or in July if the data is from the southern hemisphere and then label the month on the x-axis. After that draw two y-axis one for temperature in degree Celsius and another for rainfall in millimeter. Then the scale must be chosen in such a way that line marking 10 degree Celsius should be equal to 20 millimeter of rainfall in the other axis. Rainfall scale should be twice the value of temperature scale selected. Then plotting the temperature data of the respective month and draw a line with red color corresponding to the temperature data points. Then similarly plotting the rainfall data of respective month and draw a line with blue color corresponding to the rainfall data points. When the temperature line runs above the precipitation line, there is a dry season and the area between the lines should be illustrated filling it with dots. There is a practice of coloring portions which exceed 100 mm precipitation as a period with excess water with blue color. When the temperature line runs below the precipitation line there is a wet season and the area between the line should be illustrated by filling it with vertical lines. Now we have to construct an index. At first 5 boxes are drawn and red line indicates mean temperature, blue line indicates mean precipitation, brown dots indicate dry or xeric period, blue vertical line indicate wet period, Blue coloring portion indicates precipitation period with excess water. Also, you can specify the scale that you had been taken. Here, horizontal scale 1 cm represent 1 month, vertical scale 1 cm represent 10 degree Celsius temperature in left hand side and 20 mm rainfall on right hand side of y axis. Also, you can give a suitable heading as omrothermic chart showing the relationship between temperature and rainfall.
watching if you have any doubt or query regarding this topic put it in comment section i hope the video will helpful to you if you like this video please don't forget to give him the thumbs up and subscribe the channel i will come back shortly with new ones